Hey guys, hey my champions, my courageous creators of change across the globe. This is Adrian Starks with Champion Up and happy Tuesday. Well, actually it's, it's a tough Tuesday here because it is hot in the... <laughs> I was gonna get like dressed in my nice shirt and everything and I said, no guys, it is hot in my place. It is like a sauna in here. I'm wearing a t-shirt, take it as it is, all right? <laughs> Just don't discredit what I'm going to say <laughs> because of my shirt. But I hope that you guys are doing well and you're enjoying yourself this week. And more importantly, you're staying hydrated. Uh, as it gets hotter and we, and we move into the summer period, make sure you drink plenty of fluids. That is water, drinking things that have electrolytes in it, because you're going to find yourself getting tired, getting fatigued, taking naps throughout the day. And this is just your body uh, regulating itself to the outside temperature. So just think of it as like a thermostat that regulates the inside of a building when it's you know, hot or cold outside. Your body does the same thing. So you want to equip it with the right tools and make sure you're, you know, you're eating appropriately throughout the day. You're drinking plenty of water. And of course, you're getting plenty of sleep at night. But that's not why I'm on this live today. OK, that was that nutritional part of me coming out, you know, because I have a background in that. Uh, but I want to talk today about uh, letting go of fear and moving forward in our lives, because right now, I mean, man, we are living in a time where there is just a lot of fear going on. And what's even more concerning there are people who are allowing fear to uh, to treat to mistreat people to do things they shouldn't be doing. There are people that are allowing other people to do things because of fear. And I've been thinking about this for a while and saying, you know, what is going on and and why is it that we have so much fear and what can we do um, as a human race right now to move forward with that? Well, first I want to talk about you know why do we have fear? Because here's the thing about human beings. We are biologically wired to have some fear because this protects us. Your brain is designed to do two things. One is designed to protect you, to make sure everything inside of you is functioning without you even having to think about it. This is called involuntary reactions. So when you're sleeping at night, your heartbeat is going, your blood flow is, is going, you know, your muscles are stabilized. Your brain is making sure you're protected. And if something were to happen, you, were to, you would quickly react to it. And the brain operates the same way out in nature. You know, if there is something that is very dangerous, for instance, and something or something happens that could be a detriment to your health or well-being or your existence on this planet Earth, you're going to think twice about going to that area. You're going to think twice about sending anyone you love to that area because out of protection, that's called that's fear also. However, the brain is also designed to give us what we want in life. It, it will give us what we focus the most on. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this before. You know, what we think about, we become, what we think about, we bring into our lives. It's kind of hard to realize that when things are not going your way in life, right? Because no one deserves to get bad things in our life. However, the brain is designed to protect you and serve you. Now, what happens is that two of these signals get mixed. And so if we don't program our brain the right way, and give it something to focus on other than fear, it will wrap up anything that makes you feel uncomfortable as fear, and it will keep you from doing it. It'll keep you from going forward. It'll keep you from trying new opportunities. It'll keep you from trying new relationships. It'll keep you from trying um, you know, new things to change your, your health, your wellness, your, your ideas, your, your, your anything. So it will, it will keep you stuck in one position. So this thing about fear is fear is not a bad thing. I mean, actually, fear is designed to keep us from from dying, actually. And so, you know, if you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, I don't need to have any fear. That's OK. And and I hear this a lot. You know, um, is there such thing as being fearless? People talk about fearless a lot. You know, I'm going to be fearless. And here's the thing. There's no such thing as being fearless. Trust me. Any person that I run into, I guarantee you there is something that you're going to fear. You may not admit it. You may not say that you are. And if, even if you're a guru, if you're a proclaimed guru, you may say, well, I've got all my ducks in a row here and I've I've really worked on myself. And please, we all got fears. I was at a convention um, last year with my fiance and uh, she held a snake and I was like, whoa, <laughs> I didn't want to have anything to do with the snake. And even when I worked and I mustered up the courage to hold that snake, there was that thing in my brain that was saying this thing is going to choke me. It's going to bite me. And I'm going to be on when animals attacks part 30. And they're going to ask why in the hell was Adrian holding that snake in the first place. But that's how your brain works. It can scare you from taking on uh, some things that make you feel uncomfortable. But there is no such thing as being fearless. Let's just say that right now. If you're fearing um, income, 
you know, not getting enough income, if you're fearing not having enough opportunities, if you're fearing what this COVID-19 thing is going to do overall to us, if you're fearing uh, what it looks like, you know, for people in the States, you know, for police brutality, you know, racism, prejudice, you know, uh, mistreatment of humans, you know, that's okay to have fears like that because that's how we navigate through this world and we protect ourselves. And, and that's okay to have fear. But the other spectrum I'm gonna talk about is when we use fear as a reason to hate, a reason to mistreat, a reason to have to you know, condone violence, that's not cool and that's not what we wanna do. So let's think about the word fearless here, okay? So fearless is this, how about we separate these two words, right? We fear less. Space in between allows you to think about what it is exactly that you're fearing and you can ask yourself two questions. Is this a detriment to my health? Is this thing gonna take me off this planet Earth? Or is this something I'm just scared to make a move on? And this is the difference between people who move into success, even with challenging times versus those who don't have any success and there's nothing challenging them. It's the perspective of things. So we're not fearless, okay? We're not fearless because if you're alive right now, you have feared a lot of things to get to this point that has kept you alive. It's kept you from doing some stupid things. And there's people out there, they're, you know, they're uh, thrill seekers, right? They do a lot of crazy things, but there's still that reality of fear. They will they'll back away from certain things. So think about fearless and let's put a space in between fear less and use that space to think about logically, what are you fearing at this time? So we want to fear less in life. And that's going to allow us to release the grip that fear has on us. So if I'm approaching something and it is making me feel uncomfortable, I will ask those two questions. Is this a detriment to my health overall? Is this life threatening? And 95% of the time it's not. Then I ask myself, why am I uncomfortable with this? Is this some kind of resistance I'm building up toward change? And that's the era that we're in right now, this resistance toward change, this resistance toward unexpected change. And people are using fear as a way of trying to protect themselves, but a lot of them are doing it the wrong way. And thinking about fear and, and the word fearless, it brought me to this idea of, of quotes. And I love quotes. And one quote is really strong for this topic, and that's from Mark Twain. Mark Twain was the author of Huckleberry Finn, you know, um, other great books that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys may know about or you should you know, learn about. And he said that courage is the resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not the absence of fear. Think about that again. Courage is the resistance to fear, the mastery of fear, but not the absence of fear. So next time you're approaching something and you're asking yourself, why am I scared? That's a good question to ask. Why are you scared? Why are you afraid to take a chance on something? Why are you afraid to, to go down a different path you haven't gone down before? Why are you afraid to try something new in these challenging times? A lot of people right now are afraid to do things differently in their business because they've done certain things a certain way this whole entire time. And now that they have to change, some are refusing to change and it's slowing up their process for growth and even finding new opportunities. I don't want that for you. Even in your personal life, this can impact you. I'm not saying to walk out here in life and just say, I don't have to fear anything. I'm saying to think logically about your fear. Think logically. If you're having a conversation with a friend and all of a sudden you want to just interject that conversation and say something, what are you fearing to hear? I'm still checking myself on this when I'm having conversations. You know, I'm, I love to give information, but sometimes it's a little hard for me to receive it. And so that's a fear of me feeling like I'm not, you know, adequate enough. And we all have it. And I'm telling you this even as an expert on change, that we are human and we have flaws, but the people who are able to teach that, they acknowledge their flaws and they're able to work on it. So let's talk about acknowledging. So one way of moving forward with fear is this. We have to acknowledge the fear, right? There's a lot of people, they don't wanna acknowledge their fear. They don't wanna to admit to it, that they're scared right now. A lot of this is due to uh, upbringing, you know, whether you were a guy raised in a being raised in a family where you were taught to be manly, macho, and not show any emotions, um, that won't work. You know, I'm sorry, that's not gonna work you, help, help you in relationships. It's not gonna help you in business. You gotta show emotions. People now want to know if they can know, like, and trust you. They wanna know that you're human. They wanna know more than just information. They wanna know the person. So it's important for you to begin to acknowledge what your fears are and embrace those fears. And don't be afraid to share them with someone that you're very close to so they can help walk you through those. So acknowledge your fear. 
You know, write down what are the things that you're fearing right now in life. This is really a good coping mechanism for for us going through uh, this challenging process of COVID-19 and other things that are going on with government restrictions. Write down your fears. Don't let your fears sit inside the basement of you where it just settles and it steeps up from time to time in conversations or irrational behavior towards someone that you, you know shouldn't be fearing. So think about that. What are your fears? All right. We got to acknowledge that. And the second step that we have to do here is we have to ask ourselves, like I did, is this life threatening or am I just afraid of failing? This is a big one. Is this life threatening or am I just afraid of failing? A lot of people are afraid of failing. They're afraid of it. And I will say this a lot. Failure is never personal. It's only situational. When you accept that you're a failure, that's because you you don't value yourself as much as you should. We're in this world for three things. That's to learn, that's to grow, and to fully express ourselves. And in between that is what we call life experiences. These are relationships. These are um, adventures that we go through. But learn, grow, and fully express ourselves, and you're going to fail a lot through that process. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard the term fail forward or fail fast. I always say that we learn from our failure. We don't, we don't expect to fail. We expect to learn from what didn't work. Okay. So think about that. You know, are you afraid of failing? If you are, okay. Well, what do you do next if you're afraid of failing, Adrian? So this is what we do next. If you're afraid of fail, if you're if you're afraid of failing at something, think of a time when you faced a daunting challenge and overcame it. This helps me out a lot. Think of all the situations in your life. Where, where you were scared out of your wits or you didn't think that you were going to pull through and you ended up doing it. And trust me, if you're watching this video, you're listening to this, you have gone through a lot of crap in your life and you've gotten to this point because you have mustered the courage to overcome it. You become a champion. So you have to dial back into that memory bank of yours and find that experience and relish in it. And let that be the thing that's going to carry you through this particular situation where you have fear of failing. This is something that's not going to be easy to do overnight. It takes practice. This is why I'm giving you these action steps. This is how we let go of fear because fear will not let go of you. You got to let go of it. That's how this works. So think of a time when you when you really overcame something here. OK, let me go to my comment section here. I'm, I'm going on a tangent so I can go. I can go all day. People know me. Hey, Monica, how you doing? It's good to see you. Happy to have you on. So, Monica, so, yeah, we we're just talking about um, how to move forward with fear. And I was in the third step here of fear. And we we're talking about, you know, think of a time you had a daunting challenge and you overcame it. This could be anything from the time when you were a child, from you were adolescent, you were in school, college, adult. You've overcome something, right? I've overcome multiple shoulder injuries due to martial arts. I've overcome, you know, um, relationships in the past that I made bad decisions on, you know, and I was, I've overcome a lot of different things. You know, I've overcome being in environments where I was, you know, judged based on the color of my skin. I've overcome a lot of things. You know, I've overcome people, you know, threatening, you know, me because of the color of my skin, you know? And so it's one of those things where you, you learn over time that if you overcome this, you can overcome a lot doesn't mean you're not going to be scared. It just means that you have something that you can operate from because you're not a failure. OK, you're not a failure. And the fourth step, once you've faced that daunting challenge and you overcame it, you realize what it was. That's kind of like your 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 starter engine. Right. You see me moving here. That's your starter engine. And when you start, you know, you're starting up, then you just you jump into it. Right. I don't know if you guys know the like the jump rope hopscotch where people waiting to, to go in. They're, they're getting ready. It's the same thing with this step, with this step. When you think of that daunting moment and you overcame it, you feel that emotion. You think about, yeah, I did overcome that. You know, if I overcame that, I can overcome this. This is this is, you know, minor to what I'm what I'm you know approaching right now. You use that momentum to jump into it and do it. You use that momentum. And here's the, the action step here. You've got to jump into it and do it. Now, if it's something that is very dangerous and you truly don't feel comfortable doing it, then don't do it. OK, don't do it. Even if you have people telling you, oh, you got to do this thing. No, don't do it. If you're going to jump off this huge cliff into the water and you're very scared because you've seen other people do it, but you just don't want to do it. Don't let people peer, uh, peer pressure you. Don't do it. You know, think for yourself. However, this is something that you're just afraid to do because you're afraid to fail. You're afraid to give yourself a chance. 
then do it. Learn from that experience. I am not here today because of chance, luck, the breaks. I'm here because I have worked through my fears. And I still got fears, but I worked through them. I made a move on them. You know, I worked in the call center for eight years. Me, sitting at a desk, two monitors in a cubicle for eight years. I lost myself there. I thought that was my life. And I knew that I wasn't happy doing that. So what did I do? I had to go with the fear of, of quitting and leaving that job so that I can reach you guys and show you what courageous change is all about. It is uncomfortable as hell. And it sucks because what happens along the way is that you'll lose people, people that were comfortable being comfortable with you. You'll outgrow them. You'll find that your ideology now doesn't match their ideology. And you're like, whoa, why did I hang out with them in the first place? Why was I associated with them? It hurts in the heart because we spend our time as humans socializing and being connected. That's what we do. And when you move on something that you feel passionate about and you move beyond the fear, it sucks sometimes because you lose people along the way and you, more importantly, you lose a part of you that you thought was you. But as you go on your journey, you realize that that was just a fragment of you. Now you found a new part of you. I'm asking you to look at fear differently. Look at it in a different way. I'm gonna go back to my comment section here to see if anyone's commented. Let's go here. Oh, Monica says she has a head off. Okay, we'll catch replay. Great, yeah, you guys can always catch replay. But back to this step here of jumping in and just doing it. You just got to do it sometimes. I think it was Richard Branson who said that, you know, whenever he doesn't know how to do something, he just jumps in and does it. And he learns along the way. And this is how a lot of people of success do this. They just jump in. We have been conditioned, uh, you know, a lot as younger kids to be afraid of making mistakes. You know, that was kind of a, a point of showing that we were not smart. And that's not true. Actually, the people who make the most mistakes end up learning the most things. They end up discovering the most things. They end up uh, experiencing the better things. And they end up enjoying life a heck of a lot more than those who don't take that risk. You know, I'd rather be a person who lived, you know, uh, 70 years of uh, 80 years of my life, you know, taking a risk on things and moving forward and experiencing life than the person who sits in the corner who said they lived just 100 years and didn't do a, a damn thing. That's not living to me. So we have to look at how do you want to live? And sometimes you're going to have to live beyond your fears, okay? So let go of your fears by doing those four action steps. One, I'm going to go back to it here, okay? Acknowledge your fear. Two, ask yourself, is this life threatening or are you just afraid of failing? Then three, think of a time when you faced a daunting challenge and you overcame it. Let that seep in for a moment. Think about it and give yourself a pat on the back for experiencing it and overcoming it and use that momentum to jump into this thing that you fear. And like I said before, if it is truly detrimental to your health and it is something that you're truly uncomfortable with and you're really, really scared, then you can do two things. One, don't do it. Two, have someone talk with you about it. Maybe get a different perspective on it, okay? Because you do have a right to give yourself that chance. So back to this thing today about being fearless that I talked about. When we wrap this back around again, okay, this whole conversation. We let go of fear because fear holds us. And we have to understand that fear is going to be a part of our life, okay? There's no such thing as being fearless because as Mark Twain said, I'm going back to this quote, courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not the absence of fear. So think of fearless as two separate words. Learn to fear less in your life, okay? You got to identify what that is. You know, you got to look at it logically and say, is it life-threatening to me or am I just afraid to fail, all right? And so for me, that's how I go through my fear perspectives if I'm afraid to do something. I look at it as, what am I afraid of right now? Uh, there was an opportunity I had about, was it um, another opportunity? I talked about my job earlier, but there was one where I was offered an opportunity to host a live radio talk show for the first time in my life. And this was about four years ago. And I was uh, in really good uh, communication with the host of the show. And I had been a guest on the show. I had been a co-host at one point. And then she called me one day out of the blue and said, Adrian, I believe that... Um, I would like to have you be a substitute host on my show because I'm gonna be going out of town and I don't wanna have to close this episode. Can you do it? And I was like, give me a couple of days to think about it. And a couple of days I called her back and I said, you know, I, I really wanna do it, but I just don't feel like I, I'm going to bring, uh, any, you know, bring value to your show the way you do. And she says, Adrian, that's why I called you because I know you can. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, but it's a great opportunity. I took that opportunity. 
I learned how to talk live on radio, which is why I have a podcast now. It was why I'm good at what I do in communication because I use that experience to grow. Was I afraid? Hell yeah, I was afraid. I had little beads on my forehead. <laughs> the producer looked at me and said, Adrian, you all right, man? I said, I'm going to be all right. I'm, I'm going to be okay. You know, I'm swallowing, you know, you know, stress bubbles down my throat and everything. <laughs> but when it went live, oh, baby, I was there. I was ready to go. And I didn't look back. And it led to so many things. If you just let go of your fear today, take on something that, that is new, that scares you, where could it lead you? Where could it lead you? Speaking of, of my experience in radio show and leading into the podcast, I wanna give you something today. Um, go to championup.net, my website. And there's a lot of freebies there, but I really want you to download the free ebook called Finding Your Inner Champion. Because right now you may say, okay, I'm good to go. I understand now I don't have to have as much fear. But there's still some steps on how to deal with that fear. And I want to share one of my most daunting experiences with you through this ebook and show you what three things I did to get through that moment. And this was a moment that was a breakthrough of my life. Because if I didn't do that, I probably would have still been uh, at the call center or who knows where. So download that free ebook to get an idea of what that story is about and how I can't overcame the situation. And feel free to comment back on this video to let me know what you thought of the ebook um, and also to share it around with people to help other people become champions in their lives because we are living now more, um, more than, so this era is based on two things is what I come to the, the conclusion on. One is this era is based on change. The other is that this era is based on courage. That is creative courage, the ability to create opportunities for yourself. And you got to have the tools and strategies in place to do that. So get that free ebook download, Finding Your Inner Champion. Comment on this video here. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you learned. Share this video with anyone that you know that could use this in this challenging time because we all can. And until then, I encourage you all to be that courageous creator of change that I know you are in your life.